For the sculptures, there's this kind of phrase, an insistent phrase in the back of my mind, like talisman debris. You know, this, this thing about like taking pieces and reconfiguring them and binding them together. And so each of these sculptures has a plate that I've created with particular imagery, with particular um, so, for example, the, these pieces will be cut and collaged into, into this one. So each, each one of them has its own sort of imagery source and collage, collage source. So in the end, like they, you know, they all have their own kind of world. The elements are also culled from this environment. So the concrete is from a, some kind of demolition site of a Firestone station somewhere close to University Mall. And then a lot of this is like some kind of university shelving <laughs> that was cut up. And so I like using the pieces of this place. I started about three years ago making sculptures. So these pieces right now are, this is my second day of working. I just like flew in on Sunday and here I am. They're like the elements of buildings, but for me they have kind of almost like a figurative presence. So, you know, the clay references, you know, skin, cloth, you know, this kind of accumulation of almost like, you know, human presence within this like kind of inanimate objects. And then as I develop them, you know, there's a lot of hand drawing and hand painting. And as I get to know them better, very specific kind of personal narratives start to emerge. Almost a, I don't know, conversation between, you know, my mark and then what is already there that has its own history, its own marks, its own, you know, being. <laughs> So in, I think in that conversation, it's possible to you know, think about memory, to think about our place in the environment, to think about our bodies, our fragility and our strength at the same time. You know, the, I mean, I love these kind of twisted rebar. There'll be a small plate, you know, I start drawing. So yeah, you know, everything is by hand. There's nothing digitally recreated. You know, there are different processes. So for example, this one is I made the drawing on a mylar, which is like this kind of transparent plastic, which then gets photographed and transferred onto aluminum plates. The kind of freedom an artist has working in a place like this is really, really unique because, you know, there's, of course, like to be a working artist, you participate in a thing called the art world. And, you know, it does have to do with, you know, how do you, how do you make something happen? It takes so much resources and so much effort and energy. And, you know, this the graphic studio really allows artists to fail. And that's, that's really amazing. Um, and I don't like to fail. <laughs> But having that freedom makes it possible for me to um, really truly experiment and really truly push what I do to kind of an extreme. And it, I'm, I'm really grateful.